Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at what to expect next in your life. And to do this reading there are two ways in which you can pick your piles. Either using your zodiac signs in which you'll find a timestamp to that down in the description box which will take you straight into the part of the introduction where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which pile they're going to fall under. If you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition, there are two ways to do that. One is to take a look at the cards and see which one you're the most drawn to. And the second way is through your crystals, which we will add in a moment. All right, so let's see what your cards are for today's reading. For pile number one, you have breath. For pile number two, you have connection. And for pile number three, you have clarity. As mentioned, if you prefer to pick your piles using your crystals, then let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the banded agate. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the mukite jasper. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number three, you have the green aventurine. And this is what your crystal looks like. So take a look at which one of these three crystals or three piles you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the piles for you here today. As I always encourage you in case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, trust your intuition. It is your guiding light that always leads you and guides you to the right readings for you to receive the messages that you're meant to receive. Do note that you will be getting more information from the different piles that you check out about the different uh, things you can expect next in your life in case you're drawn to them. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. Uh, so if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and I will see you there. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this part of the introduction was created specifically for you. And what I do is shuffle your zodiac signs around really well in my bag. And then we will be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. Let's have another go of shuffling. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Virgo is very strong in pile number one today. Okay, so for pile number one, the signs are Virgo, Sagittarius, Libra <clears throat> and Capricorn. For pile number two, the signs are Leo, Aries, Aquarius, 
and Taurus. For pile number three, the signs are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each pile for today's reading. Uh, if uh, you can pick your pile using your sun, moon, and rising, uh, I highly recommend that you check the three. But if you f want to pick your piles using another placement in your chart, then please, of course, feel free to do that as well. Uh, or that only. It, it, these different tools are just different ways in which you can pick your piles to hear your message. But at the end of the day, it is all up to how you feel or how you want to pick your piles. Your guides will know what your preferred method is. You will be getting your message regardless. And once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your timestamps, and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at what to expect next in your life. We're, we'll first start off with your blessings, what to expect next in terms of your blessings. And then we'll be taking a look at relationships, your relationships with people, what to expect next with that and see what pops out. And then we'll be taking a look at what to expect next in your life in terms of your finances. Okay. So, well, you did get that first, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> Your cards are ready. They're already popping out. All right. So each row will be presenting um, one aspect that I've just mentioned. Right. So your card for this pile is the breathe card uh, or the breath, sorry, card. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Virgo, Sagittarius, Libra, and Capricorn. All right, welcome to your reading. Also, your crystal is the agate, uh, is the banded agate. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Remember, it is a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you, and at other times, it may just be for someone else. Okay, first row, we'll be taking a look at what blessing to expect next in your life. So you have Venus in Taurus with romance. You have the cheetah. All right. You have, we have already taken these. Let's take that one. The lightning, discovery, enlightenment, the spark of creation. And let's take a tea leaf. You also have club. Someone is trying to make you do something against your will. So let's do that. Oops, there we go. Let's now pull out your tarot cards. So you have the four of swords. You have the two of swords. The full card, the nine of wands, you can see, sorry, there is someone here watching you or something. That's the lynx with the nine of wands. And you have the nine of swords, two nines. All right. So what blessing to expect next in your life? Although this on its own could be talking about you uh, 
finding someone there will be romance in your life and you can see with this cheetah racing heartbeats and um like uh yeah someone being attracted to you being attracted to someone there's a lot of love and romance going on if we just take a look at that area and while that is it could be absolutely true for some of you watching this reading taking a look at the collection of the cards together clarified by your tarot cards I feel that this is actually saying that you've had a great difficulty with someone in the past, <clears throat> someone that was somehow important in your life, uh, things were going very rough, and I see that quickly you are reuniting again, or you now have a more loving, uh, a much more intimate and bonded connection together. See, this could be a huge blessing in your life if this is an important figure in your life. Like maybe you have huge conflicts with a specific colleague at work that's making your life miserable, for example. Things can go in your work a lot better. Maybe you can go to your work, have fun, do your work and come back in peace if it wasn't for that one person that's causing trouble at work. And so in that case, it would be a huge blessing. Because now your connection is much more loving, you've, um, you have, your communication is much better, You're, you even have learned to love and appreciate each other and that is no longer there. Maybe you're more loyal now to each other. As colleagues, you know, you're there for each other. It's not like a, a competition or uh, a terrible situation. So colleague is just an example. It could be really anyone that's like uh, been uh, create uh, he uh, wreaking havoc in your world uh, you know uh, a, a noisy neighbor or some angry neighbor it could be like a family member or a parent or a sibling that's really wreaking havoc in your life and you can see things moving towards calmness you uniting together in a more loving way and you can see with breathe here being your main card again, it's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you, have, you even have the same hand gesture in the four of swords. Do you see that? <laughs> As this, you're like, oh, I thought this was going to be terrible. Uh, and the nine of swords shows that it was something that was bringing you a lot of stress. I do see with the nine of wands that you always had to stay alert uh, because you felt that someone was this person was out there trying to catch you, trying to attack. So you can see that it's a new beginning that you're not seeing at all with the Two of Swords. You're not expecting this to happen, but you, your cards are clarifying that although you don't see it at the moment because nothing is showing it, uh, you will rest from the situation. And uh, there seems to be something that will bring you two together will help you communicate in a more loving way and i see that you are making out as in like you're you weren't talking you were mean to each other making out as in like you made up you talked about your issues together so that i see as one of the big blessings that are happening in your life next peace quiet tranquility and love around you so it's definitely a new beginning that you feel like you plunged into, you're lucky to step into, um, and you're being protected with the Nine of Wands from the harms that your mind thought or anticipated was going to happen. So that is uh, one of the major blessings to expect next in your life. Uh, let's take a look at relationships. I'm surprised that it didn't come in the relationships part. Maybe there's more going on in that area. And that to you is a big blessing. Having that peace and tranquility in your life. Okay, so we're taking a look at um, your relationships. You have Scorpion. You have, let's take that one. You have the third eye. Wisdom, again, enlightenment. Wisdom, insight, humility, avoid comparison. Mm. You have Mars in Scorpio. 
Whoa, with revenge. You got the scorpion and Scorpio with revenge. You have, let's pull out a tea leaf. Stork, news of a birth of a new business uh, opportunity. And let's pull out your tarot cards. So this wanted to come out first. Wow, you have the king of pentacles, lovely to see. You have the eight of swords. The five of pentacles, wow. The empress, this was pretty hard here. And finally, you have the two of wands, but um, a card moved, so I'm gonna take that. And the ten of swords, which is the end of a lot of pain. Right, so let's keep them like that. Your connections were pretty rough in the last part of your life. I'm sorry about that, my dear pile number one. Mm. So. Your relationships. You can see a, a new relationship forming here with the tiny ox. Uh, and you've got a news of a birth here again connection a new connection because of that little child so something new is happening here also the empress is a, a symbolic of birth so something is starting here i would say your cards are talking about how you've gone through that's why you have breath how you've gone through like difficulties with connections with people i feel with scorpion you've had to deal with people who might have been only looking out for their own good uh, maybe they were a bit mean um, maybe they were fighting you for a while and due to that experience that you've gone through, not only is what I'm about to say happening, but also most importantly, I see you're, there's a new beginning for you because you've gained a lot of wisdom. And most importantly, you've learned how to stand up for your right, how to set proper boundaries, uh, how to not accept that type of behavior later on. I do see that this with Mars and Scorpio, you see, I feel like it was a difficult lesson that you've gone through that equally taught you a lot about personal power and growth. So that's coming very strong here. And it is part of your story because now that you have learned to create proper boundaries, uh, that part of your life where you felt like... Um, like you were on your own outside looking in at other connections or other people or people in general. I, I get the sense that you were on your own, in your own bubble, in your own world, uh, peeping sometimes into like um, connecting with others here and there. But it's not your usual environment to do that with the five of pentacles. Um, I feel like you have been stuck with the eight of swords. Eight of Swords is the mind. I think you were avoiding connections with others altogether because you were in a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords. And I see that you are not slowly coming out of this. There is something new happening in your life. I see you starting a new special bond with someone. It's a new beginning, but it's a beautiful bond. And with the Empress, it's going to feel very nurturing. It's going to feel very loving, for sure. That it's going to make you feel with the Two of Wands. It's going to make you like break out of this aloneness. This doesn't have to be one specific person. Maybe this is a new community or a new group of people or a new person or a new romantic relationship right maybe that part was real on its own after all so maybe you weren't interested in romantic relationships and i do see you going hey maybe 
maybe, maybe with the two of wands, maybe I can consider this. Maybe I can step into it with this two of wands and see where it goes. Because although it's raining in the king of pentacles, like it's you're still not out of this situation yet. Uh, you wanting to stay on your own as you heal and come out of the of these pains. You can see here the ten of swords is using the same lessons that once uh, made her hit rock bottom to climb back up. It's one of the ten of swords that I really love. Very empowering. You can see that you're still figuring it out. You're still growing. You're still healing. But it is definitely the end of these difficulties with other people, especially as you're ending a difficulty with a major person in your life uh, soon here. And you're starting to see other good people or an, a person. You're like, hey, you know, maybe I can consider hanging out with these people or hanging out with this person. I'm feeling much more stable with the King of Pentacles, although with the rain, uh, it's you still feel like it's kind of raining down on you but rain brings crops right it brings things to life it brings life and so again i'm getting the idea that you're using these difficulties as lessons to grow and you have grown a lot with the king of pentacles you're stable you're strong you're fulfilled in a lot of ways and you feel like hey maybe it's going to be different this time if i consider connecting with others so yeah after a lot of lack and stagnation i do see that area of your life definitely reviving with the empress could be one person romantic or a group of friends that you will be hanging out with and creating a real loving bond with them okay so blessings what is the blessing what is uh, to what to expect in your relationships now let's take a look at what to expect next in your life in terms of your finances. So you have, whoa, Jupiter in Pisces with seduction. Lovely. You have, wow, Firefly. That's interesting, I must say. <laughs> okay. Is that an opportunity that you have to pick up quickly? Perhaps. But I do see why breath here um, is coming is coming very strong. It's like these two areas, uh, you're being relieved and in, in like alone and you're being relieved and dealing with that person. There's so much relief in these two areas. Here, I'm right off the bat seeing a quick opportunity that you want to pick up. But let's wait and see what the rest of the cards show. You have the extinct again. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, vanished, vulnerable, something has burned out. Do you see? It's like there is an opportunity that you quickly have to grasp. Okay. You have tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. All right. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the death card. And this is a very interesting death card. We'll discuss it in a moment. So that's really cool. Doing something risky. Guys, I think you can see your cards clear, <laughs> right? You have the three of cups. That is awesome. You have the king of wands. The strength card and the queen of swords. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I'm loving your reading. So it's very clear. It seems like you are going to see an opportunity quite soon. With the Jupiter and Pisces, this is going to be like a very fortunate opportunity. Should you make use of it? You can see it with the firefly. The firefly is bright, but it's, it's not bright for a long time, right? Also, you've got the ink extinct it's like something that you have to make use of before it goes extinct before it leaves you and you can see that it is quite risky right but the way it can transform your financial situation is magnificent and you can see it here you can see the crab they 
it's moving from one smaller shell now. Oh, wait. It's moving from one smaller shell into a bigger home. You see? So I see your financial stability with homes is going to grow exponentially um, through something that you're going to see, catch as an opportunity and go, oh, I must make use of this opportunity right now while it's there before it ends. It's risky, but I can do it. Uh, I do see with the Queen of Wands, sorry, my apologies, the King of Wands, and, and I wanted to say the Queen of Swords, especially the centering, the, uh, centering these two cards the, is the Strength card, that you will have the power. These are like power cards here. These are three power, like two powerful archetype, archetype, archetypes. And the Strength card in the Major Arcana. This is definitely saying that you have the power to make use of this opportunity. You have the skills, the talent, the character, the personality, the skills needed to make that happen 100%. It will, it will require with the Queen of Swords, like diligent planning, sticking to the plan. Uh, I'm getting careful planning with the Queen of Swords. Uh, but it is going to be a strong move that will make you rise up, as you can see. Will you be successful at that move? Yes, with the Three of Cups. This is the card of celebration. So you will be very successful in making that move happen. <laughs> Maybe you're like selling one home, getting a, a better home. Very specific, but I, I see it here. Whatever that move is, I do see your eyes on it. It's like, whoa, that's a great opportunity. I better move. Again, the fiery eyes, I better move. So you picked up an opportunity. You're moving in the right direction. Go you, pile number three. Once you're going to be seeing an opportunity, and look at that. It's the 12th house, of course, it's Pisces. Um, it is aligned with the direction and the path that you, you are meant to move towards. It's that you finding... Um, an opportunity with the stars aligning, you're meant to find that opportunity at that time. You are being guided. Listen to that idea. Just plan really well. Ask experts uh, with the Queen of Swords. Always ask experts. Um, if you're the expert, then plan well. You know, always ask questions before you begin anything. Make your plan properly. And yeah, I see that definitely making you rise. And I see you... Uh, these two cards have a lot of throat chakra in them. It's like these three figures are going, yay! And then you've got the wolf going, oh! <laughs> so you've got a lot of happiness here going on because in your financial life, there's a huge level up. As you can see, this is literally a level up in this death card due to that smart, swift move as you quickly notice an opportunity that is guided by the way, and you quickly have to make use of it. So that is a breather again, because it is quickly upgrading your financial life, your financial stability. That was such a cool reading, <laughs> my dear pal number one. I really enjoyed doing this for you. I wish you the best of luck in this next part of your life. This is exactly what I see. I love doing these readings a lot for you because if we do like five times this week, which I won't do because there are many other topics to explore. But I mean, the more we do them, the more we get a different aspect that you may not have seen. Uh, more information about that specific area, uh, another aspect in that specific area and so on. And that's why I enjoy doing them a lot. We haven't done this one in a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed it today, my dear pile number one. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Uh, today we're taking a look at what to expect next in your life. We'll be specifically looking at three areas. Uh, your blessings what blessings to expect next in your life uh, relationships what to expect in the area of relationships in general in your life and what to expect next in terms of your finances 
So your main card is the connection card. Some of you have picked your pile using your crystal. In that case, well, the crystal for this reading is the Mukite Jasper. But when I said in that case, I meant to talk about the zodiac signs. If you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, uh, then in that case, your signs are uh, Le uh, sorry, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading, guys. Uh, if these are not your zodiac signs, as I, as I was about to say, please don't worry about it. Remember, it is a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you and at other times it may not. And it may be for someone else listening to the reading. And that's the nature of a general reading. Okay, last thing we want to shuffle is your tarot deck. And ask, what should you expect next in your life all right so we'll be drawing out three rows the first one will be your blessings the second one will be your relationships and the third one will be what to expect next in your life in terms of your finances all right so on to your blessings what should you expect next so you have lion there we go you have Saturn in Gemini with concentration. And you do see the line here, concentrating for sure. Not speaking a lot and absolutely focused. Perhaps they're about to hunt something. You have the suit. Superficial perfectionism, lacking real substance. You do see someone who is trying to be invisible, like they don't want you to see them for some reason. Okay, let's keep that there. Let's pull out the tea leaf. Ooh, the next one's going to be a month. So you have the vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. All right, let's pull out your tarot cards. Let's gather a little bit in our hands. <laughs> and then we'll put the rest back. So you've got the chariot. Hmm. You have the Nine of Pentacles, wow. You have the Sun card, wow. Okay. You have the Seven of Pentacles. I really feel through this card, growing your own thing. Not sure yet how and in what area. You have the Fool card. You have the Ace of Swords. And finally, you have the Seven of Swords. Right. So what are we seeing here as what blessing to expect next? Hmm. You're definitely escaping something with the seven of swords. Yeah, you know, when I said you're growing your own thing, the lion reminds me of having a territory, maybe having your own thing. Are you going to escape without anyone seeing you? I think you might be escaping a toxic situation here because the vulture um, eats all the toxins, the decayed flesh to clean the earth. So I feel like you are escaping a toxic situation. You can even see a, a tux here, like toxic situation escaping it you're leaving without anyone seeing you and look at the web here in both your significator card and on the concentration card you it seems like you were entrapped in something or you were about to be entrapped in a, a, a toxic situation and you're like great well i'm going to escape this calmly and quietly you can see the lips are sealed you're like shh <laughs> I'm leaving this toxic situation and I do see you with a full card, leaving it and being successful, going, yes, I did it. Um, 
so you're shifting directions here and that is in the area of blessings which means that you're moving in the right direction that's going to prove to be very it's going to prove to be a huge blessing in your life you can see the sun card you're going to be very happy about it it's going to be a positive move in your life nine of, nine of pentacles it's going to help you achieve a lot of your dreams this move and i see you saying i'm going to do it on my own i'm going to grow it on my own i'm going to make it happen for myself so with the lion it's like you're building your own territory you're creating your own territory your own turf your own place and you're making, you can even see with the chariot here, it's almost quiet, although it is a motorcycle, but you can see, she. it almost feels like she's escaping. It's like, should I go this way or that way? Kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I've sensed that uh, in your reading here. There is a hush-hush situation. You're escaping, creating a new beginning for yourself with the Ace of Swords and the Fool card. And once you're out of this, I see you really enjoying it. Look at you sitting down, reading, enjoying the blessings that you have. Again, I see you in your garden, taking out the fruits of your labor. I, of course, don't know how that resonates in your life, but that is going to be an awesome move, an awesome escape. You are, in fact, escaping something toxic, creating your own world that you will enjoy living in and being part of. It's going to be so positive for you. It's going to be an awesome new beginning that's clear. I see it's full of clarity this time with the Ace of Swords. You're cutting the toxicity out, but you're like, I'm in charge of this. There's more energy of I am in charge. There's more uh, energy of things are clear for me now. I know what to do. I'm in, uh, I have a grasp on my own life. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here for you. My dear pile number one, creating your own thing, creating your own turf. And you will be very positive here. Uh, examples I can think of this maybe. It could be your work. It could be maybe you are currently living with someone toxic and you're going to escape them. It could be a toxic situation. It could be maybe saving your money. It could be. Yeah, that's these are the maybe you're leaving a, like a bad consultant or a bad uh, like a a doctor that you're working with that you feel doesn't have your interest at heart is in focus. You're going to a better doctor. I'm not sure, but in all cases, you're definitely very focused here, and you're like, I'm gonna I have to do this swiftly and accurately, and I have to do it without it causing much attention. And yeah, you're going to make this happen, my dear pile number one, number one. I see you building. And there's something interesting about your reading with connection here. This either means, as your significator card, that you have the right connections to make this happen. Or, as I've read about this card that was so interesting, this is the maple tree. And it talks about how the spirit of the maple tree has watched... Uh, spiders build their own webs intricately for years and years and years and now they've learned how to do it themselves so perhaps now with a suit like you have that experience to do it on your own or something put the dots together you may not be an expert but you're expert like or something <laughs> so that's something i'm seeing very specific, but it is something that I'm seeing. Okay, so that is a very specific blessing. <laughs> it is helping you escape a toxic situation at the end of the day. And it will make you feel free and blessed for sure. It's like I um, make use of something instead of something else making use of you, you know? Something like that. All right, so that is the blessing that I see next for you. Let's take a look at your relationships. Very specific at this. Your readings are becoming very specific <laughs> lately. All right. Relationships. You have Sun in Scorpio with Endurance. Hmm. You're building a strong bond with Sun. You keep getting lions. Are they happy together or are they uh, like, or is this too, uh, what is it called? 
like suffocating. Are they strong or are they suffocate, suffocate? It does say endurance. It could mean that they are like trying to endure each other or something. Let's see. <laughs> okay. You have the firefly. Right. You have the watch. Observe carefully, caution, slow down, take your time, right? And you have the month of, oh, you've got a green one. Let's take it. You have November and you have career in your relationships. Okay. You also have, let's take a look at your tarot cards. So... You have the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, you have the Six of Wands, the Devil card, The Three of Swords, the Page of Cups, and finally, you have the Five of Pentacles. So what's going on here in relationships? I see here that this is a person the reading is talking about a person you know in your work with the career card now this is going to start out as something that you may not really like to hear although it's it's gonna you're gonna handle it so well but it's gonna turn into an awesome opportunity so let me show you here what's going on i do see with the devil card and the three of swords this is someone trying to lure you into something, lie to you about something, maybe present to you something in a false way. I think you are quickly picking up on what this person is trying to do and you are not allowing them to do it. You can even see the Three of Swords, the figure is not there. They've left the vicinity, they've left this place. And on the other side, you can see the Six of Wands, which shows that you've won over w this person in your work. This is a very temporary situation. You're not gonna experience it. It, it. I feel like it's saying either it's temporary, very temporary, or something that's fleeting, that's gonna happen very quickly. Why I'm saying that is because you have the firefly in conjunction to the time, which shows that it's like something that sparked up and it's gonna stop right away. So I do see that someone here is trying to, they think they're smart. They're creating this illusion. They're like, hey, why don't you take this and I take that? And you're quickly instinctively feeling like something is wrong here. And I do see you with the five of pentacles, like leaving this altogether. You're leaving something altogether. You're leaving this person altogether. And, ha and as a result, you're like, why don't I explore this other place? Because of what this person has done, they've allowed you to look in another place that you didn't look at before. So this could be like a colleague at work trying to like make you do their work, for example, lying to you about how you should do this because they will do that for you and you're like, you're like, of course not. And you catch them, you're, you stand up for yourself. And as a result, because they've just shown you a different type of work that they wanted you to do, you're like, hey, look at the other side. What they're doing may help me like grow in my work. So you can see that although it's like a short interaction that you will be like right away nipping in the bud, and not getting into the entrapment that you're, they're trying to put you in. You're not going to experience that pain. The ink has dropped and it dried. That story with the journal being closed hasn't started. 
it is opening your mind up to a new way of doing things. And you can see with the Ace of Wands, look at that. Wonderment. You found an awesome opportunity. And although you, you are going to be exploring a new territory because of this connection, you are going um, a new territory, you feel like it's full of great opportunities and wonderment. And as a result, because of this interaction next in your life, I see with the King of Swords that you are studying something new, planning some, strategizing something new, collecting the right information for that, for what you don't understand here yet. And I see you with the Page of Cups creating something as a result, starting the creation process. It's not just planning. I see you starting the creation process as you step into that new opportunity. So here we can see that your personal life or sorry, your relationships at work will be resulting to making you see something in your work that you haven't seen before. And although the interaction is going to be quite small, very small, you're going to show your power right away. No effect is going to happen. You've left the situation before it even has any type of harm. With the ink dropping, it's like the, the story can no longer be written the way that they wanted it to be. Um, it will, however, shift your eyes towards seeing an opportunity you weren't seeing before. Whoa, how, how didn't I explore this before? So five of pentacles shows that you're dropping this person, you're losing this person, and maybe other things with it. You're like leaving some type of work behind. You're like, I'm not going to be doing these tasks. I'm going to be focusing on these tasks instead, those tasks instead. Um, and that will be leading to something great with this Ace of Wands, because it's the start of a new creation that you're already using the energy of and, and creating. And it seems like you have something by November, timing, it's definitely timing, by November, or maybe this is like 11.11 in the morning at some time, 11.11, during an 11.11, you will watch the time and remember this reading. Um doesn't have to be in November specifically because it's right next to the watch. I have this strong inkling that it's 11, 11 or 11 o'clock. Uh, something is going to shift in your life. You might have a meeting at 11 o'clock uh, or you seeing a great opportunity and you look at your watch, it's 11, something like that. But that connection and what they're doing may not be pleasant in the moment, but will open up your eyes to something. You can even see the eye in the watch to something that you haven't seen before. And it might require sensitive timing for you to do it at the right time. So very interesting. You can, it's really interesting as well, because your significator card seems to be the maple tree putting something together, right? They've watched what the spider has done and they're making their own. So I feel like you've watched what this person has done, but you're doing it honestly with the King of Swords. like, Or you're taking note of making use of this opportunity that you haven't seen before to do something for yourself. Did we say you're doing something for yourself here? <gasps> we just said that, didn't we? Oh my God. You are escaping something here. Look at the two cards and how similar they are. Wow, look at that. <laughs> You're escaping something, sorry. You're escaping something. So it is related to your work, it seems here. And of course, you're wear the, the, this card is wearing a suit. And this wonderment seems to be you doing something in your work for yourself. Whoa, really cool. And you remember when we talked about removing something toxic? Do you see that? <laughs> you even have the line. These two are very much aligned in today's reading for you. That's for sure. So yeah, uh, you're not going to experience this toxicity. And I see you carrying on doing your own thing, it seems. So it is in your work. 
So all the best of luck with that, my dear pile number two. <laughs> You're putting something together that's going to be awesome. All right. You know, if since it's career, that net could be you being able to capture your like revenue, capture your money or something, capture opportunities. Uh, yeah, capture food, capture opportunities, capture wealth. Okay, so let's take a look at what to expect next in the area of your finances. Since you've had, like, it seems like up next in your life, you're so focused on your career. Yeah. Let's see what you could expect next. So you have the butterfly. There's a huge transformation going on there to the better. All right. Like th something's changing forms when it comes to your money. Maybe the way you make money, right? You have independence. I mean, it's unbelievable. You have the moon and Aquarius with independence. I think a lot of you are leaving like your work and you're doing your own thing. You're being independent here. Okay. <laughs> um, you have the fuzzy cat. And if... In ineffable, Ineff ineffable, ineffable. I don't know what this means. I'll check it now. So you have fluff, engage, and wrap, wrapped contemplation. Let me check. Okay, so it is ineffable, and it means too great or extreme to be expressed or described in words. Ooh, looking great. <laughs> Definitely looking great. All right. And let's pull out your tea leaves. Oh my God, you've got the tulip. I have, a, I have a huge surprise for you. If you're going solo, you are going to be so successful. Uh, even if going solo is within your work or company, by the way. I have great news for you. Ah, so excited to tell you about it. But <laughs> let's see first your tarot cards. You have... The Five of Cups. And you have the Knight of Swords. Look at the Five of Cups here crying over something when they've got an awesome table full of blessings to speak, so to speak. Okay, so... You have the Five of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the World card. Wow, the Star card. The Ten of Wands. And finally, you have the Four of Wands. So. We'll talk about your tarot cards in a moment because I'm seeing more details actually in your tarot cards. But I do want to tell you that as a summary, in terms of your finances, it's going to transform greatly. And fly off means like it's going to ex increase exponentially. Uh, you can also see with in, uh, ineffable here. Uh, it seems like it's going to increase to such an extent that cannot even be described in words. You're going to be so happy about it. And I see that this is happening because obviously you are becoming independent from something here, which we saw as your main energy trying to appear for you over and over in different cards, in different ways. It's the same message. <laughs> But we get more information every time we reveal your cards in the different aspects. And so the tulip, the good news that I wanted to tell you is I know in the 16th century there was this um, tulip frenzy where all of a sudden people were buying tulips in large amounts that investors were like putting in a lot of money into it and they were being sold for a huge lump sum. So to me, this is saying there's a huge demand on you. If you're actually going solo, like doing your own business, you're going to be like selling a lot or you have a frenzy over that product or service that you're going to be providing. People love it. They want it. And may you may even get a lot of investors trying to um, 
be part of your great success. So all the best of luck with that, my dear pile number two. <laughs> you are putting something together that's going to be awesome. Connection here in that part could mean a lot of people connecting and resonating with your product and service and, and are there to support you because they love what you do. Right, so that's very clear. Let's take a look at what your tarot cards are, the story that your tarot cards are showing, because now we're getting more details on your finances and what, how, what to expect next exactly after that summary. It does, your cards are speaking about, maybe with the Five of Cups, you've had some losses previously. I see you moving away from this loss. You've had, re you've recently had some losses or some things didn't work out the way you expected with the Five of Cups. You are disappointed because you were expecting one direction, which is this way, to work in some way. It didn't. And because of this, uh, like, um, surprise that you weren't expecting, perhaps it's because of this toxic person or a toxic environment, by the way doesn't just have to be a, the person we're seeing could be also maybe you were in a toxic environment or a toxic team or something i see that you're making smart moves with the knight of swords these smart focused moves that are very quick and swift with the knight of swords are gonna land you a new opportunity with the ace of pentacles in terms of your wealth and your money this new opportunity or this new move that you're making will be a great fulfillment when it comes to your wealth with the world card. In fact, this is something greater and larger than what you ever expected with the star card. It is something that you would only hope and dream of in your heart. Like imagine with one move being able to transform your financial life to that crazy extent. My dear pile number two, I wish you the best of luck with that. I see that you are making this move during a time where like everything perhaps is going against you. It's like, uh, hey, you can't move out of the team now. Hey, you um, are being accused of this or hey, these are the rules. Hey, hey, you've got like many things preventing you perhaps to make that move and look at you going, no, nothing can bring me down. You're stretching your arms and you're it like, it kind of shows like it's not easy, this move that you're making. You're doing it in silence, but you're super focused. You keep getting the idea that you're focused here. Focus, remember from the very beginning, even the eyes, but you're very focused. And you're like, maybe there are so many things in my way, but it's not impossible. And that's what I love about what you're doing here. It's like, um, you're not deciding that it's over. Maybe everything around you is like trying to decide for you that it's over. And you're like, no, but I didn't decide it's over. It's far from that. <laughs> so your cards are depicting you as going the extra mile to do something out of the ordinary of the circumstances that you're in to make sure that you move quietly, swiftly, and intelligently. And because of that move, you can see with the four of wands, not only are you celebrating this win, it's going to work, this move, but there is a huge step up in your financial, um, in your financial life because of that quick move that you are making. So yeah, are things dropping here with the five of cups? Maybe you're like, this company's dropping. I better take myself out of it and go to another company that's not dropping and fighting each other like that or, or something like that. Or maybe you're like, okay, they're fighting over little things. I, I can take myself out of this and create something for myself. That type of energy. So really cool, my dear pile number two. Expect many changes in the area of your life, specifically your career, you're coming across as a very strong character, someone who's not afraid and someone who's like, hey, why don't I do it for myself kind of thing. This also shows me that you've had a lot of experience in your, um, 
in your company and I feel like I, I got a grasp watching this happen for many years and I'm able to build it now on my own. And obviously you are going to create something super sweet, something that tastes good, that people will love because this is the maple tree. So yeah, people are like, oh, we love this. And you've got a lot of frenzy of people wanting that product or service that you're creating. Or if you're going to another market, putting yourself out there and uh, getting into interviews, then you have people going, whoa, what an opportunity to hire this person. They've got a lot of experience. We love what they can do. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading on what to expect next in your life. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. You're moving directions now. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at what to expect next in your life. And we're going to be dividing the reading into three parts. We'll first take a look at what blessings to expect next. And then we'll be taking a look at what to expect next in the area of your relationships. And then we'll be taking a look at what to expect next in the area of your finances. So we'll be doing uh, each part of the reading in one row. Uh, but first, let me introduce your pile. Uh, you could have been drawn to this pile because your crystal is the beautiful green aventurine. Some of you were drawn to this pile um, using your card, which is the clarity card. And some of you have been drawn to this pile using your zodiac signs, which are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini. Welcome to your reading, guys. Let me put this here. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. And remember, it's a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you. And at other times, it may not at all. And it may, may simply be there for, some, <coughs> for someone else. Okay. So I was like shuffling many cards and speaking at the same time. <laughs> I had so much to focus on at the same time. All right. So let's take a look at the first part of your reading, which is what blessings to expect next in your life. So you've got the clarity card. That This will be your significator card. You have owl. You have Saturn in Scorpio with inheritance. Mm -hmm. You have the inner demons with thoughts, feelings, beliefs. They're on your inside. So it says, hey, all right. Let's pull out a tea leaf. You have cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Honestly, this is awesome seeing these two together. Lovely. All right, let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the two of pentacles. Hmm. You have the tower card. This does talk about you being protected from something. This is awesome. All right, you have the King of Cups. Mm. You have the King of Pentacles. Whoa, this is really, really good, actually. All right. You have the Ace of Wands. Do you have space for one more card? Yes. And you have the Justice card. So for some of you, this talks about, I'll see the different ways it could talk about. For some of you, it does seem like um, you like may discover some things that you may not like, like a, a, a bacterial infection or a virus infection or something of the sort 
and it's not going to affect you at all. You can see that you will be absolutely protected from it. It could be like something happening to the entourage, the people around you, but it's not going to hit you. Um, something that people usually go through in that phase of their life or that age, that's not going to affect you. You can see here that you're standing solid with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. You're emotionally doing well. You're physically doing well. You can even see it with the Justice card. I know it's the Ma'at. But with the heart, again, I'm getting this idea that you've inherited good genes. And on top of that, you are well informed with the Owl. So together with these two, with your good genes that are definitely protecting you. You can see the walls protecting the line here, walls protecting your good health. You can see that something may shake you up a bit with the Two of Pentacles, like it could just like um, affect you a little bit, but with good like medicine or drinking the right herbs or something like that, just a little bit of effort using your wisdom it's not going to affect you at all. It's like um, you're informed. You, yeah, like we said, you're informed. You've got good health. And you might feel a bit of a shake-up. You know, the two of pentacles. Like a bit of dizziness or something. Mm, or like a, a bit of feeling like, oh, uh, I feel like I want to sleep or something. And uh, you're going to take either the right supplements, the right food, drink the right herbs or something. And it seems like you're getting your strong energy back with the Ace of Wands and things are coming back. Like your things are wobbly with the Two of Pentacles are coming back into balance with the Justice card. And you're regaining your physical health like nothing happened. And obviously this is a huge blessing because like your environment or your uh, like uh, this age or... Um, something like that would get affected or are perhaps may get affected but you're not going to be affected at all it's like nothing to you it's going to pass like nothing happens you can see it even in the tower card here i mean the the tower card can't fall down entirely because of the fence here the brick wall so i'm seeing just a little crack or something small, tiny, that can't get to you, you taking the right medicine with the King of Cups or doing the right uh, things, will put you back in absolute balance. So that's a huge blessing you're going to see next. It's like you're going to feel so happy to find yourself um, uh, blessed with great health like that. Okay, so that's the first thing that I am seeing. Second thing is... Oh, you even have clarity here. This is the sequoia tree. You know, the sequoia tree stands strong and tall. So, yeah, I definitely see you like standing tall and strong, nothing affecting you. Love that for you. Clarity also shows that whatever is affecting you is going to clear out. You can see that you're always going to be healthy and good. Love that for you, <laughs> my dear pile number three. So that's the first blessing. Now, the second part of what to expect next in your life will be about your relationships. So let's take a look into that. So you have Mercury in Scorpio with extremism. You have... Whoa, ego. Love to see the contrast here with the ego right after this card. Okay. You have the strange wind, madness, mischief, whim, incomprehensible whispers. Okay. Now, since this is a month card, I'm going to pull out another one. So you have the month of January, which makes me feel that this is something that has already happened in the past because I'm shooting this in this reading in February. So to me, it means something that has already passed. Um, and you have nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Okay. 
Let's take a look at your tarot cards. You have the judgment card. Mm. The two of cups. You've got a lot of enlightenment here. You're going to be enlightened about something, it seems. Two of cups. The star card. Uh-huh. You have, oh, I understand what this wants to say. You've got the moon card. Okay. You've got the nine of wands. Uh -huh. And you have the four of swords. Well, it seems to me that in the past you were dealing with someone who was extreme. This was in the long past. And I, where am I getting this long past from? It's from your Significator card. Here, there used to be a huge sequoia tree that was like reached 300 feet above the ground. It used to host many life, like there was a lot of life on it. It was like a huge big tree one day that's no longer there and that's where i'm getting this uh, idea from it seems to me like you see these bears coming and look at it once more i feel like you've dropped someone you've moved away with the strange wind completely moved away from someone a long 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 time ago who was a bit extreme in how a bit maybe a lot extreme and how they were dealing with you. Um, maybe they were a bit like abusive with their words, maybe more, who knows. Uh, they like they couldn't control their emotions. They were, they were uh, manipulative. You can see they were, there was madness. It's, it's, it, does, it does say madness, mischief, incomprehensible whispers, like you don't understand why they were doing the things you, you they were doing and you uh, were very strong you moved away from this person with strength and you can see with the nine of wands that you've put a strong boundary between you and this person it could be that this person is a family member it doesn't have to be but i say this because you have the sequoia tree you have the nest right so it could be for a lot of you a family member but <clears throat> excuse me it doesn't have to be you you've left this person in the past it could be like an old teacher that was mean and you're like you've left them and you made a strong leave with the ego you've put them in their place and you left whoever this person was so what to expect next in the area area of your relationships i see that there is an enlightenment that you will notice in this person and i'm not gonna lie to you it seems like they you will find them to be so enlightening enlightened sorry so they've grown a lot you can even see the enlightenment here you're gonna be surprised at how much they have grown i don't think you're even expecting the extent of their growth because you've got the star and the moon bore both up there in the heavens and i think you being surprised with how much they have grown and reflected and changed maybe 180 degrees it does look to me like what once was broken will be fixed it seems to me that you are connected you are going to connect harmoniously together there is healing with the star card 
going on between the two of you. Um, healing the mysteries as well and the secrets that you once didn't tell each other. I see that this time there are strong boundaries set between the two of you that will allow for the connection to move peacefully with the Four of Swords, then, which is the opposite, the extreme of what it was one day. It looks like one day it was very, I don't want to say not nice because that's an understatement here. It was very extreme. It was very, um, how can we call this? Very manipulative, very uh, abusive, very abusive. Good for you for showing your strength and standing up for yourself because you didn't just leave. You, you left with a strong statement with the ego here and you flew off, leaving them in the past. This time, you're going to experience this connection with more peace, but there's there are strong boundaries, important communication, things re being revealed to the surface, but certainly a lot of harmony and a lot of peace going on between the two of you. Would you like clues on who, how, who this person is? Although it's very hard to think, you don't know, but I, I'm not going to guess that for you guys. In case you're not sure, maybe you've like put them in the past so much that you're like you wouldn't expect this because your card is showing you is showing us that you're revisiting something that used to be one day something from the very past there is a sense of awe as these bears are approaching the sequoia tree they're like oh, this used to be a home for a lot of creatures one day so with the clarity I can see that you're communicating, bringing clarity to everything that happened, clearing the air, proper apologies, proper discussions, proper boundaries, and revisiting something that you did not imagine you would visit again or connect with again. My God, do you want to know who that person could be? Knight of Swords, obviously a very harsh person. Also a very quick-witted person with the Knight of Swords. Very fast on their feet. Also, it could be a teacher because of how... Or a parent or... Um, I don't know, let's see. Empress. For some of you, it was a parent. A mother specifically. Or uh, an elderly figure. So this is, we can establish it's for most of you, it's an elderly figure that was quick uh, with their words and quick on their feet. Three of wands. And full of emotions. This is someone who, we did say that from the beginning, who didn't control their emotions. They're like, rawr. Three of Wands could also be like... Three of Wands could be traveling, someone you used to travel with. Three of Wands could be someone you started something with one day. Three of Wands means opening and expanding doors. This is all the, also the throat chakra. It means, surprisingly, that as much harm as they did, they've also helped you expand with their words. Like, they taught you something. Again, this is why I'm getting uh, mother or parent or teacher vibes with the throat chakra and the three of wands. Like, or maybe, or maybe this means that th their words were harsh. You left them, but it... Um, Helped you get access to your strength as you made a stop to them. So these are the clues that I am seeing here with regards to this person. Yeah, nest, family. I feel like it could be actually family for a lot of you. All right. 
So let's now move on to the next part of your reading on what to expect next. And that is to take a look at your finances. What can you expect next in the area of your finances? All right, let's pull out your cards. So you have the record player, repetition, vibes, grooves, stop living in the past. Repetition is really catching my attention. Frequency, vibes, it's like uh, perhaps you've understood um, where your income or incomes are from or you've understood how to make your money or you maybe are you can understand and understand the trajectory of your future financial growth and perhaps you're using that to your advantage creating a symphony like maybe you're creating a portfolio you're creating um investments maybe you're like okay i understand where i get this from i understand what i need to pay i understand this and that and how to get this and you are creating a plan or something um too specific for one card but that's the vibe i got with the record player we need to wait let's wait and see you have the snake you oh this one you have saturn and leo with generosity that's awesome good to see for you in the financial part all right you also have and looks like there's a month as well let's take that you've got dagger fears worries tense situation and you have the month of september how can we put this yeah you you can see both if i put it here and now let's take a look at your cards. So you have the seven of wands. The seven of swords. Awesome. I'll tell you why. You have the eight of pentacles. The knight of wands. Cool. Really cool. The Magician, and you have the Queen of Pentacles in a finance reading. This is awesome. Okay, so I do see you moving towards um, being, living in the financial dream that you wanted with the Queen of Pentacles. You're getting there, it seems. Or maybe... You're like, you're reading is saying, yeah, you're getting there right off the bat. Or as I'm reading here, you're on your way, um, I mean, to it. So with, with the snake, I see you're changing skin, meaning this part of your life is really going to change. I see you working on it, but, it, but you will be seeing through your efforts, great changes. And in fact, taking a second look, the snake is looks like the Ouroboros snake. Something is coming into full circle. You're, you're bringing things together. So obviously you have some fears and worries about your finances. With the Seven of Wands, it seems like maybe you have a lot of things to pay. And these are challenging. A lot of things to pay off. I see that... You will be getting a lot of money with the generosity, like you'll be getting a lot of money that will help you face these challenges. And thus, with the Seven of Swords, you're escaping this dangerous situation. I see that in September, perhaps things coming in full circle for you in September, like you're working on building that portfolio, making moving on in your plans whether this is saving up investing whatever the plans are here the por por portfolio that you're building or something and things are going to come in full circle in september until then i do see you overcoming these challenging challenges 
And there's something awesome here with the Eight of Pentacles. It's, it's really cool in your reading. I'm seeing portfolio. I'm seeing master, mastery with the Eight of Pentacles. Like you're mastering how to use the money that you have in the right direction. You're using it super effectively. And because of that, you're moving very quickly with the Knight of Wands, passionately and quickly towards your right direction. But on top of that, with the Magician, you will see that there is a magical element. It's not only your work, which is very important, but you're going to be blessed up until September with magic is could be like opportunities magically showing up in your life or something magically working out for you way better than you thought or it could. It's like you're being supported here, definitely with the magician appearing in your reading. So it's you being absolutely financially savvy with the money that you have, being very focused to pay off the things that you need to pay off. But also there's a magical element of money generously being appearing in your life. Um, either increase in your salary or increase in your investments or whether these mean as well opportunities, generous opportunities coming in. These, along with your efforts, are going to come in full, full circle in September where I see you at that time fulfilling a financial dream and living in that realm with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is successful. She's created her own life. She's created her own opportunities. She's created that dream world that she's living in. So I see you by that time making it. You're making something big happen uh, by September. But until then, you're going to be given gener generously. You're going to have opportunities coming in and you're going to be very focused, paying things off and using masterfully the money that you get in a good way. And my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see in your reading of what to expect next in your life. I wish you the best of luck <laughs> with everything that's going on. Sending you so much love. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.